Dragon Masters, Fortress of the Stone Dragon Chapter 12 A Secret Power Shaka roared, ready to attack Astrid. The wizard was just starting to open her eyes. Wait, Rex shouted, as he and Worm rushed out from behind their rocks. Shaka, Shaka looked at Casper, confused. Just a moment, Shaka, Casper told this dragon. What does the secret power do? Drake asked. Shaka can turn people into stone, Casper replied. Drake gasped, you mean, you mean like statues? Casper nodded, yes, it is very dangerous power. That is why it can only be used in an emergency, but that's it must be stopped. I agree, Mina said. Give the command, Casper. Casper paid the shaka snack now. Gray beams shot from Shaka's side, but as we jumped up and her hand flew to her belt, she grew up an empty bottle, red magic flew from her hand and made the bottle glow. She held in front it in front of her. Cap Cap T Baptiste, she cried. The gray beans flow inside the bottle. Casper, call up the attack. Drake yelled, but it was too late. The shiny gray liquid has filled the bottle. Esther gulped it down. Her eye began to glow with gray light, just as shark eyes had glowed. Casper and I were wild with fear. Shaka stomped away from Astrid, but Drake knew the big dragon couldn't escape fast enough. Mina and Frost lunged into the air. Frost, freezer! Mina yelled. Frost glowed, building a power for, for his ice attack. Drake touched warm. Transport us next to Shaka. Then transport us all out of here. But Astrid moved fast, faster than frost, faster than warm, gray beam shot from Astrid's eye. Drake and Worm appeared next to Casper and Shaka. No, Drake cried. Casper and his dragon had already been turned into stone.